So this right here is the Cosmos ecosystem and very often there are huge airdrops that are being airdropped to anyone who is staking these cryptocurrencies over here. This video is going to be your step-by-step -step guide on how to store your assets on Kepler wallet. To get started, you want to make sure that you come to your browser extension and actually type in Kepler. You can see this is the wallet that we're looking for over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now that you actually clicked on it, this is the actual wallet. You want to go ahead and add to Chrome. It can be any browser that you're using. You can see the wallet was added to our Chrome. So basically, I'm just going to exit out of that. You can actually come here on this icon and actually toggle that on, which is going to bring the wallet over here. So let's click on it. And from here, we can now create our new wallet or other connect with Ledger or import an existing wallet. In this case, we're just going to create a new wallet. So I'm going to click on create wallet. And from here, we can either choose a 12 weight numeric seed or a 24 weight numeric seed. So I'm just going to click on 12 just for the sake of simplicity. Obviously, this numeric seed, you want to make sure that you keep them for your eyes only. And after that, you want to make sure that you come and type your wallet name. For example, I'm just going to name this one tutorial and then you put your password. And then I'm going to click next. Now, what you need to do is to align these weights in the same manner that they were given to you in a previous page. I already have this wallet installed, so I'm just going to click on the Adapt tab and actually click on my wallet over here. You can see this is the wallet that I have and this is the asset that I have in the wallet. And this is sort of like my daily rewards that I'm getting, which I think is, is a lot. And when you actually come on top here, you can see all the project or all the assets that are supported within the wallet. So if I want to click a specific wallet, I just come here and click on that wallet. So that will actually copy your wallet. So you can obviously come and change all the blockchains or the protocols, for example. And if you want to click on Cosmos, you can actually click on this one. Or if you want to click on Osmosis, you can click on this one. You can see here I have a little bit of funds. So that's how you install this wallet. The next step will be probably to deposit your funds. How to deposit your funds is that you have to understand which blockchain or which protocol you want to deposit to. For example, here I've got Osmosis. If I want to deposit Juno, for example, I need to come here and click on Juno. You can see I've got no funds over here, but if I wanted to deposit, I will then come here and copy my wallet address over here. I can then go to wherever I want to send the funds from and input that wallet address. So that's how you install the Kepler wallet. In the next video, we're going to go in depth with regards to how to deposit and stake your assets so you can be eligible for more than 30 airdrops that are coming up this year on this blockchain networks. So you want to make sure that you subscribe and click on the bell notifications because you don't want to miss that most of the airdrops are happening as we speak right now so go ahead and check the next video where we're gonna go in depth with regards to how to deposit and how to stake and which currencies should you be staking in order for you to be eligible for those future airdrops so go ahead and check that video popping up on the screen i'll see you there